Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the Tamiya Douglas F4D1 Skyray. Let's get into it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and open up the box. Alright, hold on I gotta show you guys the box. Um, so it tells you the colors on there. As you can see, the color that you'll be needing. Shows you some pictures of the kit. Give you some more info there. Show some more pictures of the kit. Another just random thing there. That's the front of the box. Nothing on the back. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Alright, so we have a looks to be about three spurs, including the glass piece. You can see right here. Let's close to the side. Um, we have the decals. There are three um three paint schemes you can choose with this. We then have the instructions too. And uh I think this is for uh new people. I haven't really I don't really know what these are too well. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that. And then it looks like they put some stuff on the back, bottom of the box. Just important information, you know, safety regulations. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions first. So, um, pretty nice instructions. They're fold out, like a brochure. So it's that big. It's not the easiest kit at all. But it should be okay to build. Shouldn't be too hard. It looks like it has one, two, three, four... Okay, they had nine steps. Okay, that's not too bad. And so, um, the first decal on here is the one that I'm going to be choosing for the Navy. It is VF, or AW, number three. And then we have another one, which is the Marines, which is VMF, or AW, 114. And then we have the third one over here, which is also the Marines. And it is VMF, or AW, 115. We got three paint schemes there. You can teach them. Which is a pretty good selection, if you ask me. Let's close that up. Put that to the side. Next up, we have the decals. Let me go ahead and get them out of here. Pretty dang nice decals, if I do say so myself. They look good. Feel good. Yeah, these are some pretty good decals. I like them. Now, I would like to do the red, white, and blue one, but I'm a Navy guy, so I'm going to stick to my guns. So I'm going to do the Navy one. Alright, let's go ahead and close this back up and put it away so that the decals do not get damaged by anything. So we'll go back in. There we go. Put that to the side. Okay, and then we have, I want to see sprue number one. Or, sprue B, I guess. Not number one. Oh, looks like we don't need an exacto. Alright, we're going to put that away. Alright. <clears throat> Voice crack. Sprue B. And you can see it comes with the nose. Comes with the weaponry. Comes with the engine right there, I presume. Yeah, that's the engine. Uh, landing gear, it seems. A bunch of tiny, fragile parts, like, right there, for instance, if you can see it, right there. Yeah, some fragile parts here. Put that back. Alright. This is screw A. Yeah, this, is, this is technically screw number one. This is screw A. Alright. And there's screw C, so screw C. Is the cockpit and glass pieces. Not too much there. And then here's sprue A. It's going to have the main fuselage and the wing. Uh, now, this plane is considered a flying wing. So the fuselage is part, or the wing is part of the fuselage. So technically, the wing is the fuselage. Whatever you know. Also comes with the rudder right here. There is no elevator. Um, I think these are flapperons or elevons. So... They double as flaps, they double as ailerons, and they double as elevator. So yeah, they're doing a lot. These little uh, things right here. Just going with some more parts here. 
like the front landing gear bay. So not too much this kit. I'm close that up. So um, overall good kit. Excited to build it. Um, to me, uh, for my year, to me is really good. I haven't built a to me a kit. I have a bunch of their products. So like their thin cement. Um, getting their panel wash. Getting their I'm getting a bunch of stuff from them very soon. So, um, I've used Tamiya products before. They're very good. So, I'm expecting a, a lot from this. And from what I've heard from this kit, it's pretty good. So, um, yeah, guys, just a quick little review. Um, also, the colors of Vallejo Wise is... Where are they? Well, anyways, uh, the main colors, uh, the gray is U.S. Air Force Light Gray for Vallejo. Uh, then just black, just matte black right there on the black pieces, um... And then the blue is actually the decals, but you can paint over it, so you can just use blue, Vallejo matte blue, um, or whatever blue, and then white for the white parts. So, yeah, guys, anyway, not too much to talk about this kit, just thought I'd do a quick little review, get some content out there, maybe get a subscriber or two. Um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video or want to see the build, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. Every single subscribe counts, every single like counts, and every single comment counts. So remember that. And like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.